We got some Detroit Lions news for you folks today, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Lions doing a players-only meeting to get this defense back on track after Aubrey Pleasant was let go. We're going to give you an update on Jamison Williams. When is he going to make his debut? Dan Campbell talked about it. Kirby Joseph nominated for Rookie of the Week. Defensive. But before we get into today's video, if you think it's a smart and sound idea to do a computer reset because you lost a specific file that you wanted to upload and put on a channel, and then after you do the computer reset, you realize the computer reset was before you made that video, and when the reset was done, Every single file that you've made on your platform to make videos and give you epic graphics was removed? Then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we talk all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Because being a Lions fan, that's exactly what happened today. And I am very, very angry about it. It's going to take forever to get back to what I have. And... Take that like button with you and let that bad boy hit that like button because I'm in a bad mood. Let's get into today's Lions news and rumors. Well, it looks like it's going to be now till December till Jameson Williams makes his NFL debut. Dan Campbell said, I think we're looking at December if they're trying to forecast here a little bit regarding Jameson Williams. I'm hoping for sometime in December we get him. He's put together a pretty good month, a real good month, Campbell said, and so we feel like we're going to have him before the season's out. It's hard to say it's going to be. I mean, I would say probably another month, but I feel like we're going to get him before this and said before it's done. So, it looks like it's going to be December now when Jamison Williams makes his NFL debut. We'll see. We'll see. Should he even make his debut? Should he? The, the Lions just wait and straight up redshirt him for the for the year? That is a potential that they could do that. But look, there's six games in December for the Lions, so you could see him in about a month. We'll see what he can do if he's on the field. We need to have every player on the field, and that's really important. And, and I, I'm not going to lie to you folks. I would like to see him in a Lions uniform this season playing. But if he's not ready, don't rush it. Don't do anything. Folks, go ahead and hit that like button. Why? Because this video was a pain in the A to create because I lost all the files and it's going to take a while to get all those graphics that I have up because I was a moron, so smash that like button. But there's definitely more to talk about here regarding our Detroit Lions. And let's talk about that players-only meeting that the players did because they were upset with how things went. I feel like it was definitely sets the tone, Alex Anzalone, linebacker, said, Going on is what was going on is not acceptable. So yeah, I definitely think it was the tone for me personally. It's like AP wasn't my coach, but it's like what did I do to get him fired? If everything takes that perspective, and then you get growing out, it's a tough situation like that. We tried to get tight. Jacobs explained we thought we were losing each other over, and we just wanted to get back on the same page. We discussed how we can make our defense better. Nothing bad. It's nothing. Just trying to bring the defense tighter and get back on the field. Look, folks, when you have a situation where your defense is absolutely booty cheeks and you got coaches getting fired, the players need to take it into their own hand and have a players-only meeting to get this thing squared away. You have to hold yourself accountable. You have to play better. And I do appreciate the players-only meeting. I do appreciate that they get this stuff together and try to get it fixed. No doubt about it. It's really important for that. You got to hold yourself and hold everybody accountable for the bad play on the field. And that's hashtag facts. There's no doubt about it. So them doing the only, only players meeting, I'm fine with. Them getting together... And talking about it with just the players is important. You know, players are a part of the situation. And when you're out, of, you're out of spot, when you're doing dumb things, it's not good, folks. 
it's absolutely not good. You got to get better and you have to, as a player, look in the mirror and say, what can I do to make this situation? What can I do to hold each other accountable? We need leaders on defense, not just coaches. We need players to lead. It's a young team. It's a young defense. But hold each other accountable. And I think, you know, having that meeting plus having a offense that was bad as the Green Bay Packers helped the situation, I truly do believe it did, for sure. So that's really important. Folks, we got a game coming up on Sunday, and who do you got winning this game, folks? Do you got the Detroit Lions win this game? Put DET in the comment section, or do you got the Chicago Bears winning this this game, put C-H-I. Let me know in the comment section who you got winning on Sunday. Let's continue on with the NFL draft. Right now, the Detroit Lions are sitting at the number five spot at two and six. You see other teams ahead of us. Houston, they only got one win there, but they got that tiebreaker. So at some point, they're going to have to face the Indianapolis Colts, who, who sucks booty cheeks, and they're full-on in tank mode. Carolina Panthers 2 and 7 and then Raiders, Pittsburgh, Lions all at 2 and 6. So Lions they got a tough schedule. We'll see where it ends up, but right now we're picking 5. I think most importantly though is the LA Rams. They are there. That that's the Lions pick at 12 because we traded. They're 3 and 5. We need them to lose, folks. We need the Rams to continue to lose to get that high draft pick. That is really important for the Lions because we need to have good draft picks to have this thing going good for the Lions. Imagine if we had two top 10 draft picks. That would be amazing. I believe they face the Arizona Cardinals Sunday, so we're rooting for the Cardinals. Come on, Cardinals. Get that victory. Beat those nasty Rams. Beat them up in a big way because we need all the draft picks we can get, and that's hashtag facts. So let's go Arizona Cardinals. Let's continue to root for the Rams to lose because the more they lose, the better our draft picks are. And we need all the help we can get. I, I'm not going to root for the Lions to, to lose every game. It's, you know, it's going to be difficult for the Lions to win football games, but I can't root for the Rams to lose. So that is 100% something we can do. Good news here for the Detroit Lions rookie, Kirby Joseph. I love it, man. Kirby Joseph has been nominated for Rookie of the Week. Oh, my God. You go ahead and go to NFL.com and vote for Kirby Joseph. He definitely deserves it. Definitely deserves to be Rookie of the Week, Defensive Rookie of the Week. All the nominations all the performance they put on there with the tackles, with the knockdowns, with the two interceptions. Kirby Joseph deserves this. He deserves to get the recognition. Put 31 in the chat. Why? Because that's his number, and we appreciate what Kirby Joseph brings to the Detroit Lions. Folks, go to chessboards.com slash Lions bet. That is bet us Right now, the Lions are favored to lose this game or, or Chicago's favorite to win it by two and a half. So right now we're underdogs and I think that we will not cover. So you can go to chessboards.com slash lines bets on bets on that bad boy for the Lions to not cover. You can make a little bit of money there, folks, for sure. We got a video drop in every single day on here. Sorry for the, the quicker video, but I deleted a lot of files accidentally. So I have a lot of work to do to recoup my computer. So with that said, I don't, I don't even have files is there with the audio stuff. Adios.